welcome to day one of Ontario's third lockdown. We got some iron on patches here. We got a different selection of them all. Look at these ones, these are fancy. Oh, buck ninety-nine. I think these ones I got from Forest City Surplus. I think they were ten for twenty-five cents. Okay. Uh, I don't know which ones I'm gonna use yet. Probably the probably these ones. Uh, we'll see. Here's my bimini. Let's find my holes and see where we're at. You can see the holes here. Hey sweetie pie. Good. Here's my patch. Got a hole here, a hole here, and this hole. That's almost a hole too. I was gonna use these smaller ones, but instead of putting a whole whack of them on, I can cover it all like this. Just fired up the iron. I should maybe read the instructions. Uh, fabric armor should be clean. Patch should be trimmed to design size. Place coated patch side down. Press over patch iron for th 30 seconds. Use hot iron. Do not use steam. Let patch cool before handling. Can't be that hard. Perfect. So I've changed my mind. I'm going to use two patches. Uh, one here, one there. It'll just look a little more better measuring so that it's even, won't be too eye catching. Not that it matters, it's, I'm painting this thing with trim plaid. How long did it say? 30 seconds? It doesn't cover the whole thing. How's it look? It's pretty flat. Let's try the other one now. I've been using the little measury device to get things oh shit. <laughs> get things straight. It doesn't doesn't work so well when you move things. Engine three quarters on after here. Got it. Could do some of my jeans with this stuff. That's what I got these patches for. How are we doing here? Okay. So I flipped it over. You can see, I guess, where I ironed. That's where the patch is. So I've got those two holes. And this patch is like that for that little hole. I think that's going to be perfect. Well, let's uh, take this out in the backyard and throw some paint on it. What do you think? 
I think that'll be fine for spraying. Let's see if we can get a sprayer set up. Here's our setup. Um, it's not Trem Clad, it's Beauty Tone uh, Brush Paint, which is the same thing as Trem Clad. It's all good. We're going to spray it with our HVLP gun with a whatever size tip this is. Uh, it's 1.4. We're going to thin it with lacquer thinner. And we're going to use our measuring cup here to get the exact proportions. Clean up paint thinner or lacquer thinner one or the other uh, first of all I gotta stir this this has been sitting all winter and it's about half a can so we'll gotta get the skin off the top that's a nice skin in there okay let uh, let me get a stick and uh, figure out how to get that off okay I've got my paint mixed Mix it with that for lacquer thinner. It's a nice consistency. See that? So what you want. If you read the can, it'll tell you how much you can put in. I didn't read the can. I just put stuff in. You can actually, well, depending on the paint, you can usually use more of the, of the thinner than you, you, it says. I'm going to get going on that. I've got to put those fancy gloves on. And I've already got my mask on. See, mask, safety glasses too, and a chapeau because I'm bald. Okay, let's see. I got a test over here on the, uh, the leaf bags to see what my spray pattern's gonna be. I'm gonna fill up again. some safety alert on my phone so I just filled this up it's about half full you don't really want to go over that it's easier to fill this up than clean up the spill when you take the gun this our spray pattern It's going to be light colored. Okay, here's where we're at. That's the bottom. I haven't done that yet. I've done this spot twice. All that paint that I used has done this one and a half times, one side. Really glad I didn't get a, those little spray cans, so my finger would be done. So, done all this twice. Looks like it's going to need another coat. You can see in there. It's a little blotchy, but that's not not a problem. This side's done once. You can see it's still purple. This spot here, that's done once, twice, twice, and this is done twice. You can see there's our patch, big patch. There's our little patch. Yeah. Anyways, it's uh, it's gonna be what it's gonna be. I've cleaned up the gun, so I'm gonna let it dry now for I don't know, half an hour, an hour, and then I'll come back and uh, I'll flip it over. I'll do two coats on the inside, and then. I'll flip it over again and do hopefully one finished coat. We'll see how this how this dries.
So, might be too finished coat on the other side. I'm going to flip this over now and do two coats on the other side and then let it dry. This is essentially dry. That's a little bit. That's okay. Okay, let's mix up some more paint and get going here. Well, there we have it. You can see my patches. They're okay. Um, this has one and a half coats on it. This part down here kind of has two. It's a little one coat there. And same thing over here. It's just a one coat wonder. And that's where I gotta leave it. It's still tacky a little bit. Yeah. So we're gonna leave it out all day and I'll put it in the garage tonight. It's supposed to rain tonight, so we don't really want it to get wet. Yeah, not that matter much, but I'd rather have this next coat go on before it gets wet. So I got everything in here cleaned up. Gun's nice and clean again. Got a nice jar of thinners. <sighs> so, yeah, we're just gonna leave it. Everything to dry. You know what? I never did read the instructions to this and see what I can use. Uh, hang on a minute. Okay, it says spraying may require thinning. Only use up to 10%. Natura paint thinner. That's a home hardware brand. Um, yeah, surfaces have to be over 10 degrees uh, for a minimum of 48 hours. Do not apply in direct sun. <laughs> Extreme heat or rain uh, is imminent. Uh, it can be recoated 12 to 24 hours later. Well, that's. Uh, I'll show you how much we figured it out here read that in advance <laughs> I guess we'll see what happens um, I know I can thin Alkid with that uh, stuff so I'm not lacquer thinner I'm not too worried um, it should dry actually a little quicker and a little harder uh, than using Varsol or paint thinner but paint thinner is uh, it's not as refined as much. It leaves a bit of a residue afterwards, and I don't want that smell uh, of the paint thinner when that thing heats up in the sun. So hopefully this uh, lacquer thinner will get rid of that smell, and we'll just have, you know, good old boat smell. Ah, I'm going to wrap it up there. Thanks for watching. Click the clicky things. Remember, uh, no hugs. Be nice to people. Wear a mask and uh hide in the basement for the rest of this pandemic got another three weeks and six days to go